In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a website for free on your mobile phone. Open up your web browser and search C-A-R-R-D. Inside of the web browser, that should take you to a search engine. At the top of the search engine will be card.co. This is the website creator that we're going to use and you can see that it is at the top of the search results. Clicking this will take you to the official card website. You can see the official card website here on screen now. This is what you're looking for. You can see that it says simple, free, responsive, one page websites that you can create for free. It says build one page sites for pretty much anything, whether it's a personal profile, a landing page to capture emails or something a bit more elaborate. Card has you covered. Simple, responsive and yep, totally free. Now I'm going to scroll down here to show you some of those website designs that you can see on screen now and you can see some of those designs being showcased. It then reads, simple, start with one of dozens of templates and a blank or a blank canvas, make your own. Responsive, look great at every screen size and of course free. I'm now going to select a starting point, a template and walk you through how to create this website for free today. Now I'm scrolling through the starting points here. These are templates that you can create for yourself. Some of these templates you will see will have a pro logo in the top right hand corner of the screen. These are the paid templates, but as you can see there are plenty of free templates where you can get started and create your full responsive simple page website today on your mobile phone. I'm going to scroll through now and you can also see that it says demo next to the template where it says select. I'm going to select a page that I like the look of and I'm going to select demo. This will give you a demonstration of what this will look like on mobile. This is the template that we're going to be using in this demonstration and you can see the demo of what this website will look like on your mobile phone. This is also a website that you can access on desktop and this is the general gist of the page that we're going to be creating today. Once you're happy and you've had a look at the demo, you can optionally look at the demo, you don't have to, but once you're happy with what you see, you can close this tab, go back to the actual template that you want to select, and you can press that select button to start with that template that you have selected. I've done this here now, and you can see the next screen, it shows you a few instructions to get you started. Click an element to bring up its properties. Drag and drop elements to arrange, which means that you can drag and drop and move the elements on your web page as you're designing it. Now here we are on our template, the starting point of our website that we'll be creating here in this video. I've then selected where it reads the at Twitter handle or Instagram handle maybe, and I'm going to change this to my Twitter handle name for now. As simple as one, two, three, you can type what you want to type in to this section here. You don't need the at logo, it's just there as a demonstration and I'm using my Twitter handle name as a demonstration as to how easily you can change this element right here. Once you're happy with what you've changed this to, you can scroll down and then you can select done. When you select done, this will show you what this will look like on the website and you can see that reflecting on the website now. There are also buttons on this template and you can edit these buttons as you see fit. Here you can see Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and more. I've selected Twitter because I do have a Twitter handle. So I'm going to show you just a few of the things that you can change with this button. On this button, you can change the destination URL. This is where the person will be taken to when they select that button. You can also change the name on the button. This is what the button will be labeled as and what you will see on the button. I've changed it to Twitter page for now as an example. Scrolling down, you can see that you can also edit the other buttons in this stack here. You can also add a button. By selecting the add button at the bottom there, and it's gone into the color of the button straight away, but you don't have to do that. You don't even need to color the button, but you can go up to the top and you can edit this button as you see fit. Going back to the web page, you can now see that a button has been added to the stack of buttons on this one page website where it reads button at the bottom of the buttons. 
I'm going to select back into this now because I want to change things around and show you a little more of what you are capable of doing. I'm going to remove all of the buttons that are not applicable to me at this current moment in time when creating this demonstration of a website. For example, let's say you want one button on this template here. And here I'm going to change the website URL to show you how this works. I'm now going to enter my YouTube custom URL into this YouTube button here. Here I'm going to select a nice red as it's a YouTube button. Remember, this is a demonstration, just showing you exactly how this works. Now here you can see that a button has now been changed and I also have one button on the page as opposed to many. You can also add an image into the image selection that was given on screen here. You can access your mobile photos in order to enter a profile image or whatever image you would like in that template image placement. So here I'm going to add a picture of myself pointing at the screen, just one I've taken downstairs in the living room. And I'm going to add that into this section here. Scrolling down, you can actually add elements to this image, but it's optional. You don't need to add a hyperlink to the image. There, you can see that's now reflected in the website and my profile image is given at the top of the screen there. You can also add and change text. At the bottom of this page, there is a website hyperlink. Here, you have an associated message you can add to that website hyperlink. It's actually an email hyperlink. So it's an email me button that is given inside of text. But I'm going to show you what happens when I delete this as this is a template. So I've now deleted all of the text that appears. So let's say you don't want this to appear on your screen and you don't want this to appear on your website when people are visiting. I've now deleted all of the text, but you can see there is a bracket that remains. This is why I wanted to show you this. If I try to delete that bracket, it will not remove because the type of text that has been given is a hyperlink. In order to remove that, you need to select the bin icon on that element there. Now you can see that that has been removed from the website. Nice and easy without any stress. I didn't want you to stress about if a email me button text is given at the bottom of your page. You can also access the menu by pressing those three lines in the top right hand corner of the screen and you can see what you can add to your website here. Text, image, videos, audios, gallery, a timer, buttons, links and more. I now want to change the website background because it feels like it's a little bit plain. You can also press that play button at the top there to see what your website will look like on its first interaction. So when people visit your website, you will have a transition. I'm now going to change the background and give it something different here. You can see that you can add things to the background, for example, image, gradient, video or slideshow. I want to actually have a gradient to the background so that it looks a little bit, you know, more lifelike instead of a plain white. Here you can see that I'm being given a generic red and blue gradient background, but you can edit this if you see fit. If you want a brighter red, you don't want red, you want a different color, you want your gradient to be in a different angle. These are things that you can edit with your website. When you're done and you're happy, you can then add a title to your website. It is required that your website has a title. Here I'm giving you an example here where it says free YouTube website, and then a description of your website is also necessary. This has been done entirely on mobile phone and I'm going to show you what the finished website will look like when you're using this template here with this website builder service. You're going to publish to a card.co URL. Because this is a free website, you cannot add a custom domain, meaning you cannot add your own website name without the card.co on the website but it's very useful and can be used for multiple purposes and for whatever you need or want. So once you're done, you can create your website with that card.co URL. It just basically means that at the end of your website link, you will have card.co, which to be honest, isn't really a hassle at all. It's actually quite nice in this current day and age in 2021 going forward, there are many different websites that are website builders that you can use. And I can teach you these other website builders as well. The reason why I wanted to teach you card.co is because you can actually create a PayPal purchase checkout. 
and there are other website services that you can do that as well so here you can see what the website will look like when you've created it for free I've done one here for you today you can see there is a YouTube Twitter and Twitch button when you select your YouTube button it will take you to the website destination and the same will be done for the Twitter and so forth if you've enjoyed this quick tutorial, well I've tried to be quick, a tutorial that I've created here on the Anthony Allen YouTube channel on how to create a website from your mobile phone for free and you would like to see and learn more, don't forget to subscribe here to the Anthony Allen YouTube channel. This is one of many things that I can teach you and I intend to teach you more. With that said, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.